Hello and welcome back to the second part of the paper wall hangs creativity. I'm done with my margin and I'm now going to create a design for my frame. I've chosen circles for my frame. Others might decide to choose triangles, rectangles, squares or other design according to their taste. But I've chosen circles to make my frame. So I'm going to rule round lines all over and have them painted. So let's get started. Here I go. I'm going to make circles around my flower and then I get it painted. I'm now done with my circles. I drew two circles to the left and three and then two circles to the left as well. Using a pointed brush, I'm going to start with my coloring. These are simple watercolors for children. So I'm going to start with red color. I'm going to give it a red color. And then blue, and I continue with the green. Here I go with my pointed brush. Yeah. I'm now done with my red coloring and I have to start with the blue and then the green. I'm done with my color blue paintings and I'm yet to finish with the green. So I'm going to finish up with the green and then I continue. I'm done with my frame. Before I continue to design or decorate them with my dried leaves and others, I have to create a hole and then a rope for my hang so using any sharp tool or metal I'm coming to make two holes in the center of my circle so here I go one and then two okay then I cut a piece of thread or long rope or long buyer and then tie two knots to mine here i go yeah. here i am and i twist it to the other side because it wouldn't hang well if i do not alternate them so here i go i have to alternate it and then place the other at the opposite side these are too long so I have to cut them short and then tie a knot to support my nose here I go I'm going to tie one knot in front and the other behind to support my nose so here I go okay I'm done with the first knot And then okay I'm going to have the second knot behind here I go my second knot okay I have my knot and that is it yeah. before I decorate my frame to dried leaves and others I have to give the other spaces a beautiful color so i'm going to give it a light yellow color just like my background so here i go using a brush and light yellow i'm going to give it a yellow color i'm done with my faint yellow coloring not too smooth a bit rough but nice so touches and touches I'm now going to cut my waste paper cards into rectangles and give it a beautiful design to design my frame. So here I am. Here are my paper cards. I have to trim them at an equal size and shape the edges as well. So here I go with my trimming. Okay. 
we're trimming so i'm going to trim the edges in a u shape children i hope we all know how to write color u so you choose you trim it in a u formed shape just like this either rough or smooth it has to appear u so here we are with a u shape okay yeah good fold it and turn it to the other side and give it a v shape leaving a space in the center so this is what we came out with i will cross them to prepare a small flower yellow flower in my waste paper leaf um, petals here at the center and then continue so here i go i've started laying them i'll add another one to it to make it more lovely so here i go and i add the last 